Hello everyone, especially the fans of Chikara, the Chikarmi. My name is David Horn. I'm the creator and producer of Chikara Action Arcade Wrestling. Uh, it's about halfway through our Indiegogo campaign right now at the time of this recording, and we got a couple questions specifically on how do the controls work? What's the control scheme of the game? So what I wanted to do is I wanted to make a real quick video uh, and explain in detail exactly how the control scheme work. So let's get started. I'm going to go full screen so you can see the entire game and we'll go through exactly how the controls work on the game. Alright, so here we are in the game. Obviously if you press up, down, left, or right you'll be moving around the ring. Uh, taking a nod from fighting games, if you double tap left or right you'll be dashing, forward dash and back dash. You can also use the double tap if you're near the edge of the ring to go out of the ring and then come back in the ring. If you press the strike button by itself, you'll do some quick strikes. So I'm going to go up to my opponent and press some quick strikes, and if I quick strike him enough, he'll go into a dizzy state, which will allow me to attack him even more with more devastating attacks. If I press grapple plus strike, what that will do is that will run. So if I bounce off the ropes, I can either hit grapple or strike to do two different types of running strikes. If I press up and grapple and strike, I'll do a strong strike. If I'm a little bit away from my opponent and I want to surprise him with attack, I can press down and grapple plus strike, and that'll actually do a dash strike. And if I do connect with this, it'll also put him in a dizzy state. Now we are giving you the option, if you don't want to press grapple and strike at the same time, on your keyboard, on a PC, or even on the console when you're using a gamepad, uh, you can actually set a third button to be grapple and strike. Now I'm going to show off the grapple button, and actually the grappling takes a lot of its inspiration from the AKI games like No Mercy. If I tap the grapple button, I'll do a quick grapple. If I press and hold the grapple button, he'll do a strong grapple, which is a lot slower, but a lot more devastating. Once I have my opponent in the grapple, as you can see, I can move him around, up, down, left, or right. I can even drag him to hot spots, like right here, and I'll throw him out of the ring. And then I can pick him up, again, by hitting grapple right next to his head, and I can drag him over here and smash his head against the barricade. Or I can pick him up, grapple him, and then drag him to the ring to throw him back in. Again, I'll double tap in order to get myself back in the ring. Now let me pick him up here and I'll kind of show you the difference between the strong grapple and the quick grapple. So if I do a quick grapple, I can press grapple again plus any one of the directional arrows. So this was grapple and I think I hit down. Let me hit grapple plus up. So I'll grapple him drag him a little bit and then press up and that's a snap mare. Now let me show you the strong strike. I'll grapple him and then I'll hit the grapple button again and you can see he does the Canadian Destroyer. Now I'm going to pick him up again and this time when I grapple I'm going to hit strike and what that does is an Irish whip. Now when the opponent's down I can go up to him and I can click strike to just do some stomps. Um, taking from WrestleFest, I can go to his head and hit Grapple plus Strike, and that does a strong strike. Or I can go to his feet and hit Grapple and Strike together again, and that actually does a submission. And you can see I have some debugging stuff in there to make sure that he doesn't go into the ropes or anything like that. That'll obviously be gone. Now if we both grapple at the same time, we actually go into this sort of combination of WrestleFest plus an element of Fire Pro Wrestling, where it's time-based, and I have to win two out of three, which you can see I just lost, and he body slammed me. But that happens if we actually press grapple at the same time. So that's the control scheme as it stands right now. We're going to be obviously doing some more testing once we start pl actually playing with the game a little more with the AI and maybe tweak some things here and there, but we wanted to give you an idea of what it is. If you like what you've seen, uh, please consider donating to our Indiegogo campaign. All of the proceeds help us put more full-time work into the game so we can get it in your hands quicker. So please consider donating and thanks for watching.